Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the show! Well, it's pretty clear uh, you can see what game we're about to get started here. I decided to just start playing Gran Turismo because I effing love this game, god dang it. Uh, so this is Gran Turismo 2. Uh, I did try to record uh, Gran Turismo 1 a few times, but th it just keeps freezing so much that I I'm not going to torture you guys with that. Uh, this is actually a brand... Oh. <laughs> I need to turn the music off. Chase one, type two. Why? Or chase view, type one. Uh -huh. What all that shit is. Acceleration brake, reverse, emergency brake is R1 for me. Shift up, shift down. Review is circle and L1 is change view. So. Uh, if you're wondering, those are actually Need for Speed buttons. Uh, I like my button layout to be the same as uh, Need for Speed Underground. Um, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, my copy of Gran Turismo 1 is being a real big meanie. I'm gonna, definitely going to have to get a new one, but I want to play Gran Turismo so damn bad. But we are going to play the second one first, and then when I get another copy of Gran Turismo 1, one that actually uh, is going to work and be nice for us, then uh, we can go ahead and do the first Gran Turismo. But, uh, yeah, like any other Gran Turismo player, you definitely got to go get that license first, and that's exactly what you're, we're going to do. So there's ten tests to complete. Uh, I mean, for anybody who has never played Gran Turismo... You do have to go get your license before doing pretty much anything, I guess. So, yeah, there's ten tests. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, so, you basically just do them one by one. I mean, it's, it's simple, pretty simple. One thing I always loved about Gran Turismo was the uh, license tests. Now, <laughs> uh, I'm not going for golds. Um, uh, what's called... Uh, I can go ahead and show you guys my... I have another profile on this game that has, like, literally everything complete. Um, like, I'm talking all the gold licenses, every race completes, like, no losses, 100% complete. Well, not 100% complete, because you actually cannot get 100% complete. Even if you complete every race in this game, it'll never say 100. Because there were races uh, that were in the game... That were taken out. No. <laughs> yeah, there were some races in the game that were taken out. This race is kind of a pain in the or this test, this first test. I remember this, this test was always a pain in the ass for me. W well, when this game first came out, this test was a pain in the ass. Just because it's so damn long. <laughs> Come on, little bits. Yeah. Come on, bits. Come on. Yeah. Nope, too soon. <laughs> it's so hard to judge. And no, like I said, we're not trying to go after golds or anything like that. Just grabbing our license. Simple as that. Ah, my name is Ashton. Uh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Ooh, a Fiat Coupe Turbo. Yep, yeah, so anybody who's never played this game, <coughs> this, this game was in. Incredible when it first came out. I was uh, pretty young when this game came out. I begged my mom to buy me this game. I begged her, and she did. And it was like the greatest game ever <laughs> when it first came out. Holy crap, this game was so good. Hey, yeah. Stop. No. <laughs> Just a little hard to judge exactly where I need to slam on the brakes. Yeah, man, I hope you guys are all having 
a freaking awesome day. God damn Gran Turismo, you guys. So th this Gran Turismo is quite uh, long, actually. Com if you look at all the Gran Turismos together, Gran Turismo 2 is actually a pretty long game. There's a way that you can cut it quite short. That's my girl. Ah, <laughs> uh, Grand Turismo. Ooh, a skyline. Let's go. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> now, I truly love Grand Turismo. Uh... Uh, Gran Turismo, in my opinion, just completely destroys Forza in every way that you can possibly destroy a game, a competitive, uh, a competing franchise. Gran Turismo is the uh, absolute bee's knees. <laughs> like if a bee has knees, it says Gran Turismo on them. There's like 500 some cars in this game. Even by today's standards, that's still like holy crap. 500 cars? That's insane. Compare that to, uh, well, hell, let's just compare it. Not necessarily a racing game, but still. Uh, Cyberpunk uh, only has, uh, I think, like 54 cars in it. So compare a game that just came out not too long ago to a game that is uh, uh, only like 10 years younger than I am, you know? <laughs> and this game has ten, 10 times the amount of vehicles in it, like holy crap. And I get it, this is a racing game and Cyberpunk is a sandbox game, but still, I mean, come on guys, come on game developers. This STI, this Impreza, does not know how to say no. Woo, she's my yes girl. Gold. <laughs> uh, Gran Turismo. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I am pretty damn good at Gran Turismo. Uh, I'm, I'm used to playing Gran Turismo Sport, so yeah, I'm pretty... Pretty darn good at Gran Turismo, I can't lie. This is one of those games that I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty darn good at this game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On any Gran Turismo as well. I think it, it might just be because, you know, Gran Turismo... Oh, I was trying to just skip my tires, but... We just touched the grass there. I haven't always been good at Gran Turismo. It took a lot of training. I would say Gran Turismo 4 uh, would be the one Gran Turismo that is responsible for, like, I don't know, I guess me being good at the series, you know? This game's a little bit touchy. I, I just noticed that uh, the D-pad is uh, quite touchy. Although the controller feels a little bit different. This controller, the PS2 controller, feels a little bit different than uh, a PS4 controller, that's for sure. It feels, it feels a lot lighter. Ooh, Acura Integra, baby. Ooh, very touchy. Just tick, tick, tick. <laughs> wow. Ooh. And yes, I race with uh, D-pad, if anybody's wondering. D-pad and Need for Speed Underground uh, button layout. I love changing my button layout to the Need for Speed layout. I just find the, the buttons are in a nicer place to have, like, reaction to stuff. Integra 
baby. Oh, say a word. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm pretty darn good at Gran Turismo. I, I truly do love Gran Turismo. Like I, this is one of the games that makes me all makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. I really do love Gran Turismo. Greatest racing series there is, hands down. Oh, easy big girl. We touched the dirty, dirty dirt there. Ooh, this car is very touchy. Go straight. <laughs> Still packing them silvers. I haven't actually played this game in a little while, if anybody's wondering. It's been a couple of years. I've been playing Gran Turismo 4 recently. I, I, I kind of go back to Gran Turismo 4 a lot. Whoa, goodness me. Yeah, I kind of go back to Gran Turismo 4 a lot. Um, well, even in a recent survey, well, a survey, a, like a, a, a poll, I guess you could say, or whatever, where people voted, uh, Gran Turismo 4 was actually voted the greatest racing game of all time. can't really argue with that. I would certainly, I can't really think of any other game off the top of my head that would top Gran Turismo 4, to be honest. Except maybe pff, Gran Turismo, mm, I kind of want to say it, but maybe Gran Turismo 6. 6 is pretty damn good, but uh, Gran Turismo Sport is uh, amazing. The quality of the, like the, just the way the game looks and how the cars drive and stuff in Gran Turismo Sport. Wow. Like, wow. <laughs> they got that game, they got that game right. You know. Sony is not messing around when it comes to uh, uh, making a Gran Turismo title, that's for sure. So there we go, we got our B license, you guys. <laughs> Good old Gran Turismo. So the only place that you can really afford a car at this point in the game is from East City, because uh, these are the only dealerships that have uh, used cars that you can buy. So let's take a look. Oh, oh! If they have the Honda sedan, the '93 sedan, please, please. Oh, it's eleven grand, you guys. I wanted that V Tech right at the beginning. <laughs> Alright, so they got a bunch of cars. Oh, there is one! Civic Sedan! Say word for six grand! Oh, that is our car. VTAC Power! Ooh, and it's black too, you guys. Phantom Gray Pearl. A demon in the night. Oh, yeah. I hate how people always buy that same goddamn car when they start this game. I like to just buy something totally random. I just remembered that the three door. Three. or the two door, uh. Coupe was in this game. Um, let's take a look at what the uh, racing mods. So, we bought the car stock. This is eventually what the car could look like if we upgrade it all the way. Oh, you guys. That is mean. Alright, so we got three grand. Um, now, we could buy a couple of parts, but I like to just buy a, a, a set of rims at the beginning. Give that car a little bit of personal, personal flair. Let's see what those uh, Falcon number ones look like. Those look pretty nice. Ooh, those are a little bit more aggressive. I like that. A little bit more sharper edges on those ones. All right, so we got a thousand bucks. I don't think we can buy anything. for a second there, I was like, what kind of car are we in? Alright, uh, so there's, um, let's check. There's three things that are really cheap. Okay, that's 1500 We have 1200 Check weight reduction one. Nice, 1200 Oh, you guys! Oh, uh, this Civic is out of control. We got $23. <laughs> 23 bucks, you guys. Alright, so this is our first car. Oh, look at that, you guys. 154 horsepower, 2,228 pounds. Oh, beaming, you guys. 
<laughs> Gran Turismo, yo. This is the bomb diggity game, I'm telling you. Sunday Cup. Let's go. <clears throat> so the licenses in the game, there's there's uh, six different licenses in the game. Uh, and they basically allow you to enter different races in the game. So we only got our first license, obviously. It's how you start this game. Um, so we only got our first license, so we can only enter, like, the very beginning races in the game. But that's how Gran Turismo is played. Oh, listen to that, you guys. Oh, VTEC power. See you later. Did you guys hear that, VTEC? <laughs> See ya! That <laughs> fourth gear is dead. Oh well. Let's see that open, open up. It'll open up once we get to higher RPM. Oh wow! Very low handling. <laughs> Excuse me sir. You will not. This car is the Beam Scalines. We are out. I'll see y'all at the finish line. Prepare my cold milk. Ah, zero bricks. If anybody's watching or if anybody's never played Gran Turismo before, you cannot damage your car in this game. I could literally go 250 miles an hour into a brick wall and all it would do is stop me. <laughs> It'll definitely, it definitely slows you down to hit stuff though, that's for sure. Beaming, see you later. 116, you guys. 117, we hit. Oh, God. Woo. Oh, this car is out of control, you guys. <laughs> and yeah, obviously, like any racing game, uh, you know, it gets dramatically faster as you progress and stuff. And Get faster cars and whoa, upgrade your car, and you know what I mean. Well, that guy's pretty fast. That guy in that little uh, white hatchback there, I'm not sure what kind of car that is. It's a little bit. Uh, uh, is that a, a Lupo or an Alto? Looks like a Suzuki, or it might be a, um, uh, what's it called, a Daihatsu. Oh, they're having a battle. Yes, you guys. V-Tech Life. Woo, the Civic, the Fireball Civic is back, you guys. Brought back from the dead. Yeah, it was a Daihatsu Myra. I thought it was a little Daihatsu. Those cars are little cute cars. Look at that Civic Beam in you guys. Ooh, out of control. I can't lie, this, this game actually looks fantastic on my TV. <laughs> I can't lie. And like I said, I mean, I, I don't really care if I lose or anything like that. I'm not trying to go for 100% victories and stuff like that. I'm just out here to have fun playing this game after not playing this game for such a long time, you know. Let's look at the uh, FF, let's see what the opening horsepower is. 295, goodness. So we're gonna have to actually upgrade this car quite a bit to enter that. Wonder if we would be able to get into this now, 147 horsepower. Compact, 246. Convertible car, historic car. Oh yeah, all the rest of that will get spanked. <laughs> we'll get smoked. Yeah. I want to grab uh, 
flywheel. Let's grab ourselves a racing flywheel. Just to help us get through those gears a little bit. We'll go ahead and grab the uh, ECU con uh, uh, computer control unit. Increase our horsepower slightly. 160 horsepower, you guys. Holy, slow down. <laughs> oh, can we get displacement? It's VTEC. Yeah, we can. God damn it, I'm smart. <laughs> Ooh, I know my cars, man. There's only a few cars that you can actually get displacement on in this game. Achoo, my goodness. The friggin' Civic has taken over, you guys. So, uh, should we try to enter the high-speed ring? I think we'll get spanked if we try to enter the high-speed ring right now. Let's go ahead and do another Tahiti run. Make ourselves another, uh, three grand. What can we buy with another, with another three grand, you guys? We already got weight reduction one. <clears throat> we got the three cheap things. We won't be able to get a, a, a carbon drive shaft because this thing is obviously front wheel drive. So it has no drive shaft, if you guys are wondering. Woo! Swiggity swoogity! Look at that boogity, baby! This car boogies like no tomorrow. But then we get into fourth and it's toast. But man. First, first three gears in this car are definitely heaters. Heaters, you guys. Whoa. Oh yeah. You're getting it now. Hell yeah. Displacement increase for this car was actually really expensive, man. Eight grand. You can displace, uh, there's a few different skylines that you can displace, and, uh, any VTEC, you should be able to, uh, increase the displacement on any VTEC. So, any VTEC Honda. Obviously, VTEC is really, uh, only a Honda thing. There are some other cars that have VTEC, but. Honda is the one that is most well known for it, I guess you could say. Woo! See ya, fellas. Hell yeah, we got up to 119 that time. put on like some royalty free music or something like that but people are dicks when they make royalty free like soundtracks they always end up throwing in at least one song that is not copyrighted for some stupid ass reason <laughs> I swear you could download like a hundred of those like hour long royalty free mix Every one of them will have one song that is copyrighted. Oh yeah. We got a little messed up back there. But the Fireball Civic does not lose. Can't come near me, son. <laughs> Volkswagen Lupo, son of a bitch. Woo! I don't think there's anything else that we can afford right now with only three grand. Yeah, we've already bought all the other uh, cheap stuff. Let's see if we can win high speed ring, you guys. You ready? Let's do this. <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> Getting 
getting all fired up. Oh! <laughs> I love Gran Turismo, man. I really do. Fantastic series. And we say bye bye. Oh, that Sylvia's fast, you guys. I don't know. Oh, that Sylvia's fast. Oh, God. We're getting squirrely. Come on, Civic Life. We got this. I apologize, sir, but you have slammed your brakes abruptly. <laughs> but we're going to scoop it in. Uh, down to third. A little bit of a body bump. Whoa, sir. Whoa, he's like pushing the hell out of me. <laughs> Come on, Civic. Civic life. Screw you, Sylvia. Rah. Oh, he's gonna burn us down the straightaway. I think they all are. No, you don't, sir. No. You will not. Oh, that, that Altaza. No. No, sir. Get out of the way, Altaza. Tighten, tighten, my love. Come on. Oh, God. We bounced off the wall. Oh, Lord. Oh, that Sylvia's going left. So we will go lower. How low can you go, Sylvia? Uh, we're going to do the crossover technique, just like we did last time. Get a good run. Nothing. Nothing beats the power of Vita. Civic, civic life, civic nation, life, 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 boy. What you got, son? Get that weak shit off of my track, bro. Oh, that was a K series and a friggin' S15, you guys, and a Fiat Coupe and two Altesses. Oh, we burned those dudes. Yo, this car is 160 horsepower. Get the hell out of my way. Damn. <laughs> we blew those guys' fucking doors off. Holy shit. The Fireball Civic. Whew. Can't be contained, man. Fucking Gran Turismo, yo. This game is the best. Civic life. I wonder if we could drop a turbo into this. It's probably non-aspirated, but we're gonna check anyways. Yeah, it's non-aspirated. No turbo. Which is hilarious, because nowadays it's like every Civic is turbo. <laughs> yeah, non-aspirated. 178. 202. That's not a bad number, man, for uh, 12,000. Hmm. Well. Let's throw on a big racing muffler so we can really hear this beauty roar. That was a pretty good increase in horsepower right there. 174 now. 160 to 174. You guys. Alright, that brings us to the uh, game status screen. So, Look at that. The Fireball Civic doesn't lose, you guys. There she blows, you guys. 174 horsepower, 2228 on the weight. Man.
The Civic is out of control. I am surprised that we won that. I thought we were going to get smoked. Once I saw the Alteza and the two Silvias, I was like, oh, <laughs> we're in trouble. Yo, those cars have like 202 horsepower and stuff. The S, uh, that S15 that was there, I'm not exactly sure if that was the K or Q series. I couldn't see. But, uh, man, that car was like 225 horsepower or something like that. We smoked those guys. But anyways, man, that's going to be the end of episode number one of Gran Turismo 2, you guys. Thank you so much for coming out and uh, watching this with me here today. Uh, you want to show your support? Do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not done that yet. I freaking love you guys, and I wish you guys the best, and I hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day, as always, and I'll see you guys in the very next episode. Bye-bye.